All right, welcome back to Tiny Rogues. We are uh, on to run number six here. We are mastery level 10, which means I believe we have more options. We do. We have uh, four more options. Mana Elixir, which is whatever. I don't really care about that. Re consumable that... Okay, this is just beginning with the replenishing uh, repair powder. While an inventory recovers one heart upon entering a new floor. Oh, okay. So this is like using up a space to recover a heart. Um, honestly, none of these really... This is kind of nice, actually. But it does reduce our gold at the start. Let's go for the gold still. Um, I did say I think I wanted to play a new class. We have the Wanderer, the Bard. Have I played with this guy before? Wins zero. Let's go with the Ranger. And uh, I think we have Mastery to work with here. Defeating a floor without getting hit makes... The boss offer plus one reward. That is really good. Let's go that way. Gain one suppression for floor one, two, and three. Sure. And then defeating a boss without getting hit grants you 25% magic find. Okay, sweet. So just being good at the game rewards you with better stuff. All right, on to the first floor. Four to five bombs is great. Sure. It's a great start. You get a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to work with. With um, ooh, I'm scared to go in and get the be the beef and then not be able to open a door. But I actually don't know the effect of this character. I didn't even look. So let's see that real quick. So, C for character. You inherently have plus one evade. Oh, that's kind of nice. And evade refreshes every five combat encounters without taking damage. Okay. Hmm. Let's go for the intelligence. Need to start getting some stats because we want to level up. Leveling up is how you really start to uh, blow up your run. I don't think we need to go for the soul hearts. I, I believe in myself to not take damage. Okay, let's go for the key. Souls are nice. And I think that um, they're definitely good to grab a lot of extra health. But I don't really know what this whole room is. I mean, last episode we got to that door. We'll have to see what that what that does I I like I said I don't want any spoilers so it said I have to be like good lawful or something so I'm gonna have to do something to come that that is curse no thank you Let's take it nice and easy at the start here also didn't look at our items what do we have here 15% uh, increase range damage uh, increased damage with ranged and a uh, bow. Okay, so we're just like ranged pretty much. Let's go for an accessory. So right now we don't have the bonus that if we don't get hit, but we do have more magic find if we don't get hit, so. Let's hope not to get hit. Gives us a better chance. I've been infected with webbed. I don't think that actually does anything for like damage. Yeah, okay, it just slows me down. Sweet. Thief in the shadows. I think that was the effect that I just got. So better magic find. Well, that was kind of trash. We have an offhand. I believe this bow is two-handed. It's Yes, it is. Accessory plus one evade. Mm, five dexterity is nice too. I'm going to go for dexterity. I really don't think I'm going to get hit too often. I find that I don't take that much damage in this game so far. But watch that. Watch me eat my words on this on this uh, this run here. Okay, now I don't need anything. Let's just go. I've also noticed that the floors seem to change size. Like the rooms change size quite a lot. Nice. We have plus three intelligence. I will take that. Considering my character only does really have the effect of having one evade, it doesn't really matter what we do. We could go into intelligence if we want. Which I probably will. But who knows? On kill and combat start spawns a mana star. Eh. Attack speed based on dexterity scaling of the weapon. Ranged attacks gain 100% crushing hit is really good. But I feel like that's close. Close range is not fantastic. Uh, let's, let's do it. Maybe we go into ranged here. Okay, this is ranged. 
And that's far, far reach. Uh, the damage is not great on this primary attack, but it does it does increase damage to dragons. Uh, I think this is pretty good. This is also very good. Arc staff. It has really uh, low damage, but I think I've used this before. Let's go for the gun, the Golden Desert Eagle. So let's, let's use that real quick. Let's go for souls. Okay, it's not fantastic. But I remember to stand close. Yeah, I do do I do do I do do I do do good damage. Um, I don't really want to go to shop yet. I'm gonna save my money. I do good damage close up. That is a meat shank. I will take that. Okay, not a bad start. Uh, we have three keys. We're good. Definitely need better weapons. Uh, not locked. We have five keys though. Let's go for a treasure rock. And who knows? Maybe we'll go flawless here. Repair powder is not great. Sight item is also not good, but I'm going to guarantee that I get something new with boots. I gotta remember, uh, make sure to remember that we uh, don't want to take damage because we want to get the uh, magic find increase. Pretty easy bosses so far, though. Oh boy, a little scary. Should be it though. Nice. I really find that we don't struggle too much with bosses uh, unless we're really low damage. So as long as we keep the damage scaling decently, we should be all right. What is this? Offhand. Don't really care about mana star buffs. One suppression, which only affects, I think, for bosses. Yes. But we also on dash gain combat prowess, which increases melee damage. That's kind of interesting. I actually really like the equip load because if we're going into, um, I know it's like a silly choice when we had a gold item, but I think I like having a quip load that we don't have to focus on strength too much. And we can also wear much stronger armor in the future. Let's, um, let's save, let's save our souls. What is, what is this thing, by the way? I, I've always wondered what, what that thing is. Very good. Ranged weapon. Yeah, we probably want a new ranged weapon. This has not been great. It's very slow attack speed. And the damage is kind of um, lackluster, to say the least. Okay, nice. And finish it off. Beautiful. Give me something better. A bola crossbow inflicts bola. I think it's the first time seeing a bola effect as explosion damage. Okay, interesting. And it has 10% lucky chance. Wait, what is scroll to scroll? Oh, I didn't know you could scroll this up and down. That's kind of cool. All right, let's switch to this and switch to the crossbow. Okay, well, I mean, it's better damage. Yeah, let's go with it. Attempt to brew a potion. What is... Sure? No. Sure. What did I make? Stamina potion. Interesting. So you can... There's probably uh, like a little cookbook recipe for that. Oh, these also pierce. You can see the explosion goes off. That's very cool. We have an arcade. We would definitely go in here. Okay, let's open this. Got some keys. And we'll take this as well. Take a key again. I'll just use the stamina surge. 
The Hungry Blade. I mean, we'll definitely... Uh, it's short range. It's not that great, but it, it gains hunger. Critical multiplier. Ah, whatever. We'll sell it. Sweet. I'm going to bomb this. And there we go. I believe if you do not bomb it before it runs out of items, then you don't get anything. Hello? Another growth? I have a dispel curse too. I'm still going to take the cake. But we can definitely go for a cursed item room at some point. I'm loving these bombs that go off. That's really cool. Oh, that just that is disgusting actually. It just yep, just blows up. We get a level up. So it seems like we are kind of building into a, a permanent effects Wait, permanent effects on, on potions? Wait, isn't that really good? Because now I have this potion. What does this do? Okay, I just have permanent 30% faster recovery. We probably want to go for boots. Yeah. Go for it. Not a, not a fantastic run yet, but not a horrible run either. So I gotta let this blow up. Yeah, like that. So it's sort of like if you don't hit them for like two seconds, the bombs go off. So I think it's worth it to wait. Cause look at the damage it does. A little scary. Somehow we didn't get hit there. We take those though. Now, I was told not to use my souls, and I don't know why. I feel like that's a bit of a spoiler, though. Offhand. Is this a one-handed crossbow? No, it's two-handed. Accessory. That gets rid of five decks, though. On combat start, gain full stacks of speed boost. Up to ten stacks. Isn't that, like, kind of scary, though? I'm going to be moving, like, really fast. We'll give it a go, but I'm kind of terrified. Wait, what's the law shop? Well, I guess I know why I'm supposed to not <laughs> use my souls now. Uh, three strength is okay. Three intelligence is good. This scales off strength and dexterity. However, I don't think I'm going to stick with this weapon, but I'll take the three strength. We. I can get more lawful. Okay. Should I be spending all of my my, my souls? Also, what does lawful do? We are leaning lawful. I mean, I guess I'll just buy it. Now we're lawful. Okay. Plus one. Ooh, obsidian is really good, but I'll take the efficient chips. Look how fast I am. So it seems like the play is to apply stacks of everything, like the bombs on everybody, and then kind of let them blow up. Like that. But I still need more damage. Rare weapons. Ooh, bow slash ranged. Very far. Inflicts DNA alteration. Is a stackable status effect that consumes all stacks to deal 100% of accumulated infliction damage as wound damage. Reaching two stacks. That's a lot of information. And that is a two-handed. Energy damage. It does mana drain. Okay. This... Pulse pistols sounds more fun and it attacks twice as fast. I think I want to do that. It is a mana draining weapon, but I think I think we give that a go. Let's put it on this. Oh, that's really cool. Cool. 
Let's go for an event here. Oh, wait. No, I want to go for potions. I forgot that I have permanent potions. Okay, I'm running out of mana really quickly. But it's still doing decent damage. Okay, well, there you go. What does this do? Yep. Okay, so it's a 10% mana drain refund. Okay, so we're just going to keep that forever. Uh, Pawn Shop's not super worth it yet. These are new enemies. Okay. Tavern. I think I want to do that. Mind helping Santa out? Give you a gift box. Uh, no thank you. This interaction adds one good. This was looking for. So I will do this. And then what is this? Enchant for 30 gold. I don't think I want to do that yet. Does this give me one good as well? No, it does not. I think I'll just leave for now. Thank you. Multiple potions. Yeah, I'll take that, please. Anger potion. Uh, it increases attack speed for 10%. Okay, that's just a 10% increase. And increases damage by 20%. And that's now permanent as well. Alright, thank you. I'm noticing the, the change in damage. That's good. This is great so far. Uh, we can go for a magic weapon. I don't know if it's worth waiting for my mana to come back. Is he dead? Round two. Can I kill this bat or is that him? I think that is him. That is him. Okay, interesting. Look at all the potion effects we have. Okay, we have a a new magic weapon. It does fire damage. It attacks five times a second. Medium range though. Ruby wand. We have a thrown ranged weapon. Which does do decent damage and hits multiple times. That does sound fun. Honestly, I feel like I want to go with this one just because it sounds fun. This is very far damage though. Oh, this is good damage. Legendary. It's 25% increased damage. These all sound pretty good actually. Now, these aren't going to last forever. These ranged weapon increased damage, but it is good. This glaive sounds the most fun, so let's just do that. Doesn't hurt to try it. Okay, so I see. Can it, it can hit multiple times if it's like in inside the blade. So are we good yet? We're neutral. Plus one. We are lawful though. Let's go for the strength. Okay, so it seems like I have to like kind of hope that this hits right where the enemies are. Mm, uh, it's locked. Let's um. Let's let's go for the the lock chest. We have three keys. This definitely hits harder, but I don't know if it's like good overall, like better overall. Okay. On taking damage, spawns a, a mana star. So that's not great. I will take the strength and then I'll dispel the curse immediately. These uh, scorpion enemies, I'm pretty sure, are based on the enemies from... Uh, what's that game called? Oh no, it's like the toxic game. Grants two spinning blades. So now this is interesting. Let's actually re-roll this. Grants you an aura that inflicts poison. 
I also don't care about any of these. Each point of dexterity grants lucky hit. This is probably what I want to do. Two-handed melee weapons count as one-handed. I really wish that was all two-handed weapons, but I'll do this because it's 17% extra lucky hit. And let's go for intelligence. Oh, I got to spell the curse. Right. There you go. We definitely take the burger. We just like stats. Come here. Nice. Let's go for souls. We don't need to upgrade anything yet. Let's grab souls. Weapons are still doing okay. And I don't know if these are maybe my, my, my end all be all weapons. Probably not. Oh, I'll do this because I can gain some soul hearts anyway for opening. Oh, I didn't do that. I got the money instead. Oops. Yeah, this chest is a bit crazy. Grants 10% increased damage depending on how lawful you are. Oh, wait. So this is crazy, isn't it? I'm 30% more damage. And grants lucky hits. I'm already full. We don't care about melee, so let's drop that. And I will probably drop the repair armor here because I don't have any armor anyway. So there we go. Let's go for dex. a great start. Is that a secret room down there? I don't think it is. Okay. They're all companion summon items. So, I mean, we could get... We have one companion slot. We might as well do that, I feel like. It's not a bad choice. We're going to have to throw something away, though. Which is probably just going to be the armor. Which I didn't even... Oh, I didn't pick it back up. I'm so dumb. Oh, well. You can see the lucky hits are really happening quite often. And when he stands still, it this really works. Okay, how is he not dead? Yeah, this weapon is really good when, when an enemy stands still. Thirty-six souls. These are all companion summons. Let's see what we got. Each varig varigi? Is that how you say it? Varigile, maybe? I'm sorry that I don't know what that is. I have no idea. What, I've never seen that word before. Um, grants 20% increased sound damage. Uh, each snake grants 25% increased poison hit damage. That would have been good if I got the poison aura. Each slime grants 5% increased damage. I mean, that just sounds like we just get bonus damage. We got to get rid of something, though. So this is terrible. I'm also not using this. Like a fool. Do I need the equip load? I have 140 equip load. We do not need this. I fully trolled. This has not been on. Uh, so that means we're about to hit way more damage. Let's activate our slime. And move on. On to floor six. We have the burger. Yeah, we have way more damage now. I, I was trolling. There were probably a lot of you shouting at the the screen telling me to put that on. So my bad. I'm usually pretty aware of that stuff, but I thought I put it on. Okay. This to me looks like it could be a secret room over on the right, but I don't want to use a bomb just in case it isn't. Each point of intelligence additionally grants 2.5% increase effect of buffs. Eh. Oh, this is actually really good. A non-channeling weapon. So if we put... Did we get rid of all of our magic weapons? I could have sworn I had a magic weapon. Did I, did I sell it? I think I, um, I'm dumb. How do I still have this thing? Okay, we need a magic weapon. Oh, look at this. It's a magic weapon. Is it a channeling one? No, it is not. Uh, ballistas are not great. What is this thing? Dragon's Breath. 
Okay, so this is pretty good. I don't know what the Dragon's Breath does. I think it feel, this feels like it might be a, a channeling weapon, though. It doesn't say the word channeling, so I'm going to take it and put it here. I guess we could test. Oh, we can't test. But either way, I'm going to drop this bow. This is trash. Let's, let's bring this just in case. That seems really good. This does more damage, but this seems more fun. So it also attacks 10 times per second. Wait, is this just like crazy? Holy crap. What does this thing do? Wait, what? So this spawns a ballista. So if we do crits, we're just going to... We're just going to have those. Here's the play. I can change between what my other channeling weapon is by pressing one. So I'm going to be using the wind glaive, but every time I'm switching between these, like if I press one, I can switch between these two weapons as my second. Oh no, I can't. I can do a quick swap like that. I have to switch my weapon and then switch. It's kind of troll though. Let's, let's give it a try. So there's the fire breath. If I do this and then switch to this, am I spawning ballistas? There's there's some strats here, I think. It's a little awkward, but it's definitely doable. Four gold is trash. Sell this for eleven. Sell you for thirteen. Sell this as well. These were okay, but I think not the run we're, we're going to use these. We got to bomb this so we can go for more good, I think. What are you? No, I don't want to spend... No, I want 30 gold. I've got 107 gold. I'm good. Storm in a bottle. Is this a potion? Is a status effect that periodically triggers a lightning strike that deals... Last 10 floor... I think... This adds chaotic. Wait. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Okay. I don't want to do that because it might mess with me. Let me go to this guy. What does this guy do? Wait. What does this do? Berserker potion. Sure. Anger. I already have this. Does this make it better? I don't know if that did anything. Okay, plus one lawful. I'll do that. I'm not sure if I... Okay, I want to re-roll this room, I think. This guy... Get... Oh, I just bought bombs. Well, that's fine. It's five. Let's... Let's stay the night. This guy gives me good, I think, right? It does not... No longer give me good. Hmm. How do we get more good, then? What's this guy? This is the brew. No. Does this do good? No. I just bought B. Okay. Well. This does not give me good. I don't know how to get good. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay. How do we become better? I also can't tell if I want um, the fire breath or... The other thing. Let's go for mm, the, the consumables. Hopefully we get potions. That's honestly fine. Stamina Surge will just use epic item. We always take epic. And we have a door. We have a door behind the, the boss. So I think we might have another shop. We are very strong. Okay, not bad. It was a little scary, but we haven't hit, got, taken a hit yet. We have another room. What is this epic going to be? Okay. Plus one maximum companion. That's alright. But it does get rid of five decks. Fire element. Well, we do have this. So I wonder if that's worth it, but it is also an accessory, so it still removes our five decks. And I'm pretty sure our decks 
Yeah, I have. We have twenty four decks. I don't know if any of these are really great. I might just take this. I don't think losing five decks is worth it, considering we have the effect of decks, like with the lucky hit and stuff. But uh, this does give us one more slime, which gives us five percent or ten percent total increased damage. I don't know. I don't know. Do I need more lawful? I'm already. I'm pure lawful. Uh, da damage to Delta Dragons. We can do increased elemental damage. Three strength and three intelligence is not a lot. It doesn't really do much. We can buy one of these. And I think I would rather get rid of strength. And now we are pure lawful still. Okay, so I think we just move on. Floor number seven. I'm going to hold on my souls because I don't know what kind of uses that they have. I'm kind of worried about that now that the law shops and stuff happen. Rare weapon. Let's do that. You never know. Storm cloud on non-triggered lucky hits. Trigger lightning. That's really good and it attacks really fast. This dartling gun sounds hilariously fun. Inflict vulnerability. 20% more damage lasts 4 seconds. This is hilarious. Because I think it's going to cause cause a lot of lucky hit chances uh, with critical hits. Which then will activate our fire more often. So it's definitely the more fun play. This is a lot more safe play. I think, I think this is the safer play. Because it does the lightning on lucky hit too. But is this better? It attacks quite fast. Let's get a random potion because we have permanent potions. My gosh. I can't tell if that's better. Inferno potion. Okay, so we now have... We have an orbital for free permanently. Okay, that's cool. We have decent money. Let's go for bombs. Last thing you want is to have no bombs when you need a bomb. Lightning feels good. A random potion again. A little scary. I think we already have the mana potion. I don't really, don't really know if these are adding to each other or not. And once again, I don't know if we have the permanent... We don't know if we have our permanent items yet. I would love to know. I think we can do better, though. Yeah, we can use our key here. We have a black market. Now, I think this adds evil. It does. So I don't think I want to do any of this. This all adds evil. Dang. Okay. Black market is not it. Do we go for strength? I think I need a key just in case we need to get a key for like a, a shop or something. Okay. We take the event. So what is this? Attempt to finish the sculpture? Wait. Okay, I get it. Uh oh, I got I got it within the, the middle, but I, I won. Okay. You feel an icy wind blow through. Blizzard Charm, legendary. Periodically inflict chill to all enemies in the room every second. What? It sounds amazing, but it's not... It's not the craziest item. So let's move on with getting gloves here. How's the damage? Decent. I think I need to, like, use the Ballista.
Which is, wh where is the ballista? Oh, it's in my other hand. Okay, I need to... Oh, I evaded. Oh, no. So I technically got hit. Oh, I got hit again. This guy's kind of spooky. I got hit again. This guy's uh, attack pattern is kind of wild. So I've never seen that guy before. He kind of reminded me of like a, a smaller version of the final boss that we saw. Ooh, wait a minute. Periodically mark all enemies with Hunter's Mark. But does this... Does this work? I can use this with bows. Well, that is very nice to know. I assumed that's why I picked it up. I was like, it's a, it's a quiver. How could I not use it with a bow? So we now have Hunter's Mark that we can place on people. Three strength sounds pretty good. Woo! Rooms are getting a little spookier. Random resident. Let's go for a ranged weapon. I dare. I, I doubt we're going to find a better one than what we have. Oh, no. This room is insane. So I can definitely tell the game is getting harder. I can repair... Oh, what is this? Critical hits with this weapon inflict a stack of corruption. Increases damage taken by 1% per stack. It sounds pretty fun. Oh, man. On non-triggered uh, critical hits or lucky. Lightning's okay. Let's give this a try. I might not like it. And uh, we have no keys. Now, I will use my armor repair. Let's go for money here. I don't think my crit chance is very high. It's the only problem. Let's go for the soul hearts. The random potion effect is great, but I think that they don't stack. These also seem to home, which is nice. Don't have any keys. More soul hearts. Oh, what was that? A scepter or something that was on me. I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, lock chest. Oh, well, can't really dispel the curse, so I guess we're just getting a, f a room that we don't get anything. I think my other weapon's better. I gave this an honest try, but I think that this is just stronger. Do I upgrade now? I think I might. Oh, this is already full. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we get my armor back. What about this guy? What is this at? Is it worth upgrading this guy to try it? Let's, let's try it. Drop sleep and shatter. We only have one bomb left though, unfortunately. I do like the homing effects on this weapon. Two keys. Oh, legendary. So I think that this is going to affect the bosses in a way because it's going to just add a lot of corruption. We're at 17 corruption, which means 20, like basically 20% extra damage. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Do the stacks stay? They do stay. It's up to 40, 48 corruption. To be it. That was a fun boss fight. I like that one. 
What do we have? What's the legendary? Give me a good one. Ooh. Chainmail? Mithril. One defy death. Two armor. Ooh, that, that chill effect would be crazy, right? But that's not really that big of a deal. Grants 10% critical chance on accessory, which is five decks. Honestly, I think that's worth it. Considering our crits on this give us corruption. I think we take that. I know it's crazy, but I think that makes the most sense here. So here we go. We move on. Plus one strength. We can we could bear with not having as much strength. Yeah, this seems decent. Is the corruption really gonna go that far? I don't know. Maybe we'll just get a better weapon right here. Uh, yeah, it seems like we're gonna get a better weapon here. <laughs> oh, man. Can hit multiple times. So that seems like a similar weapon. And magic. Oh, man. Uh, this works with our mark. So I think we go with this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab this, and I think we're gonna use that. So we actually just invested in this the shurikens, but now we have this. So let's go for multiple potions. Yeah, it's pretty dang good. And we're shooting the fire too? One second, I don't know if these actually work. If we have stacks of them. We have one luck, which is good. Agility, now we're faster. Refills a flash, doesn't really matter. Sure. I might not even open this, to be honest. It's not worth using my key for it. I think I would just rather wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. This pawn shop here. I know I talked about the periodical, but I think just selling this for like 25 gold is just better. And I'm sorry, but this uh, ballistas thing is just not it. Same with the companions. It's, it's good, but it's not as good as 10% crit chance. But we, we build around crit a little bit. And Shadow Shurikens, it was nice knowing you, but goodbye. That was that sold for 32 gold? Is this level 3 yet? It's plus 2. Let's upgrade this. Even though we can get bombs... Uh... Will we get another chance to upgrade? Probably. Let's grab bombs. This is great damage. Not as good as our last run. That's for sure. Tavern. Let's get enchant. Do we have enchantment on this? We do not. Let's do this. Happy. Is that the lucky hit? It is the lucky hit. Great. What's this guy? No, I don't want to sell. I don't want souls. I think I go for decks here. Let me move on. Somehow we became like a pyromancer ranger. On completing a combat encounter without taking damage, gain a stack of morale. No. Natural damage rolls from you always roll minimum damage. What is that? That's terrible. While you have mark reward, your primary attacks are from f at far range, gain 100% lethal hit. We have we have the mark. From our, from this. I think that's the play. We don't have gloves yet. What is this guy? I see a door too. 
Well, it's really too bad we'll never actually see what this guy does. Barely. Okay. What do we have here? Rare gloves. Grants 25% increased effects of buff status effects. Wait, isn't that just like really good? Uh, Attunement 5. Whoa! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we just have permanent 70% damage. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gloves. I will, uh, I will have to go with the lab coat. We have a law shop again. We have that potion buff. We don't have wrath potion. So let's grab that. And that now makes it 80%. Look at that. Are we still, we're pure lawful. Yeah, we are. All right, we attune that. Uh, we don't need money, but let's go for level up. Hopefully. I am definitely feeling that improvement. This is why we like to have bombs. Perfect. Are the chances of us getting a good potion high? No. I think we take the, the cake. I don't know how many types of potions there are, but we have eight of them, so. Uh, multiple potions? Locked? Uh, let's go for a bomb. If we had more keys, I would, but I just don't think it's worth it. Great, we can level up. Hoping for like the primary attacks mark. I'm triggering a mark. Uh, it's it's not great. Fighter's mark is a buff that grants 50% top end damage. I mean, we'll probably hit things close range. It sounds better than the other ones. We'll take a resin. Yep. Yeah, that is really good. Gold pine, we'll just use it. I think we upgrade this now. There we go. Cursed broccoli. That's kind of sad. I want to take it, but I don't think I should. Okay, one final rest. Let's rest up. We don't really have... This is 10% increased damage, but we could probably find something better. All right, death. What do you got? Not very much, it, it appears. Oh, we evaded, but oh well. Kind of trolled. Set helmet. The chance of luck and curse taking effect are both zero? <laughs> Grants 50% increased trigger damage, but it reduces damage. No. This is... I think I just picked this up, but I don't wear it. Just for the money. What is this bowl? Wait, what was that? What was that noise? Okay, we enter the Shadow Plains. I'm scared. We've been here before. But I have no idea what to expect. Because we couldn't get through that door. I think we go for... What's our lucky hit chance right now? We, uh, where is that? Is that... General? Miss. Lucky a chance is 48%. I think we increase that. Yeah, this is great. 
Yep, critical chance. Uh, refills the flasks is whatever. I don't really care about either of these. Can I can I reroll this? Random potion. Let's get an increase attack speed. This might be higher damage than our last one. Two random trait tomes. We're full. Let's reroll. There we go. Increase crit. Oh man, that the movement speed is kind of tough. I'm actually really fast. One soul heart, we'll take that. I've been stacked with wither. I didn't read what that did. <laughs> so hopefully it's not bad. Mana drain refund. This doesn't mana drain, so I have one more reroll. Let's just take it. Yep, there you go. Perfect. We have a shop. One lawful. Rare companion. Each B grants one percent stacks of poison. Eh. Random enchantment. 10% lucky hit is great though. Each piggy bank grants 1% increased damage per gold you have. Is that better than the companion I have? Wait, this is way better than the companion I have. Yeah, we take this. Okay. And I guess we can go for a set item. I don't really care though. I don't have any more rerolls. Let's also just reroll this. What do we get here? Uh, holy damage. That seems really good. This weapon inflicts maximum stacks of disintegration. What the heck? Well, it's cool and all, but these I don't really care about. I, I guess I'll, no, I'll just go for the mana drain refund. I don't, I don't know. The reason why I didn't do the chest is because I don't really care for side items right now. And I also don't want to spend my key. But we are on the one final rest, so let's do this. Go for a helmet, I guess. Or a rare. Maybe let's just go for a rare. Where is he at? Show up. Wow, this might be better damage than the javelin. Are you seeing this? I'm gonna start cleaning up the, the legion as soon as possible. Show up. You're dead. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's just so good. What do we have here? Uh, Intelligence increased crit mount multiplier. Don't really care. There's the other half of the meteor armor. Okay, interesting. That's from the Terraria, by the way. Uh, Taunt. Bows and crossbows attack at far range taunt, and then they come, you go closer and do bonus damage. But I think this just is just way better. Yeah, the mark is better. I, I, I almost just walked away without taking anything. I'll just take this. Can I get through here? Worthy. Okay. So, bowl is empty. Okay, we can go. I have no idea. I had no idea what was going on there, but 
I guess as long as we're lawful, we're good. I don't know. I don't know if we needed to um have good and lawful. I couldn't remember. Portal? Are they multiplying? I have no idea. Hit the crit chance. Attack speed's great. We're very strong. I love that we we stuck with the bows. Uh, highest attribute, why not? We're basically always critting. Why are they multiplying, man? I think they're splitting into smaller versions of themselves. Go for lucky hit chance. So why am I going to teleport? Am I tele- Oh my god. Get a key? Thank you. Oh, non-crits. I don't really non-crit, so we're going this way. I hate that. I hate that that teleport. Go for lucky hit chance. Gotta be careful about to split up too many of these, because it gets really chaotic. I think we're alright, though. Okay, highest attribute. So what am I going to fight after all this? I guess we're about to find out. Uh, fully recovered. Is this get This is not giving me my armor back. So, let's gain some favor. I don't know if that was a, f a mistake. I guess we're going to find out. One final test before... It's, it's death again. You trespass sacred grounds. You disrupt nature's peace. You break the cycle of life and death. You serve a false god. Do you really think you won't, they won't betray you? I have seen many fools, but none as dangerous as you. It seems upon me to stop you. Our little dance ends here. You were insignificant. You were nothing. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Um, but how about uh, how about this? How about you just die? That's a cool attack. I like that. Oh, there's a ring. Okay, that's a little scary. I don't care, dude. Honestly, I don't. I don't care. Just shut up. What is this? Okay, he's a bit tough. Insignificant. Now, nah, I've played bullet hell games before. It's easy. Angel of Death. Abyss key. One of the three keys required to open the sealed gate to the abyss. So that was the... Uh that was the room. But what is this? Take a sip of the ichor. No. I think it's going to kill me. Isn't the same stuff that killed me at the bull? I go here. Take a seat on the throne. You've accomplished the impossible. You've become the embodiment of death. A new master. Hooray. The new keeper of order. Hooray. Chosen by the shadows. We serve your highness. A mortal no longer. Now ruling the shadow planes. But even the glory of becoming a god eventually fades into eternity. I died anyway? Are you kidding me? So now do I have that key with me? 
Or do I lose? The end, question mark. Your world tier is now level five. All right. We are six for six. Honestly, not bad. And with that, we do have the mastery to get our one reward. Okay. This game is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.